bitch, and I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Bitch, feel like I'm ready to burn. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Boy, Jazzy, Stacy, bitch. Hi guys, so today's video, like I said I would, today is going to be a curly hair tutorial. I know you guys have been asking me for months to do a curly hair tutorial and I feel like I just, you know, didn't have enough time to because like I'm always like doing something with my hair. I'm always getting braids, I'm either straightening it or whatever but like i trying to embrace my curly hair more like i wear my curly hair a lot but like i feel like because i always do my hair i just want to embrace it and give it a break because i always straighten my hair a lot and i feel like it, that's killing my hair so this past summer i had got my hair done for um my senior portraits and usually i barely go to a salon so i usually straighten my hair myself but my mom wanted the picture to be perfect so she took me to a hair salon and they straightened my hair it was very pretty but when i was getting my hair done the salon smelled like like it was like burning it was burning hair you know what i mean like it was like smoke and i could barely breathe while doing my hair so when the lady was doing my hair it was like probably two hours I don't even know how she finished that fast, but um, after the process of getting my hair done, I went home and I the next day I took my pictures and I left my hair straight for a week. And when I went to go wash my hair, some, some of my hair was falling out and it was like when I was washing it, it was straight. There was no curls forming, like my hair was just completely dead. So after I had washed my hair, I cut it. But I don't think I cut it short enough because after that, when I was doing my hair, it was still like half of my curls were like dead. It was straight. They were not curly. I used everything. So what I decided to do was that I cut my hair like probably up to like here and I gave it a break from straightening it. I probably took like three months off of straightening it because I wanted my hair to like heal so from august to like october i gave it a break and then for hoko i straightened it and then gave another break so i straightened my hair for my birthday but i had left my hair straight probably till january and i actually just cut it last week so i'm thankful for that and my hair is very healthy but today i'm gonna show a tutorial of how i do my curls that noise in the background was my hamster, Sage. She's such a cutie. I love her. I got her in May with my friend. And she's the cutest thing ever. I love her so much. She's a little furball. I remember when I was looking at, like, the hamster section, my eyes were, like, automatically drawn to her. Like, she's, like, the cutest thing ever. When I saw her, she was sleeping. She was, like, knocked out. She did not want to get out. But she's, here she is. The lady did not, like, she was, like, the worker was, like, oh, I've been working here for months. And, like, she was the cutest thing ever. And I'm, like, oh, my God. Yeah, she's so cute. But, yeah, this is my little cutie. So freaking cute. Anyways, back to the video. So I'm going to go refill this, and I'll come back. Okay, so starting off first, what I do, oh my god, I my hair is like a mess. So what I do is that I part my hair in the middle and then I put it into like four six sections. And then like I start doing the back first and then I work up to the front. Now my hair is into four sections. I'm gonna put this one in a tie because I don't want my hair to get mixed up on the other side. So I'm gonna put a hair tie in. So what I start off with first is that I start with water because um, we're gonna refreshen the curls. And then so I brush it out. I always 
brush from the bottom first. I'm, I know I'm starting from the roots, but like I start off the bottom first and then I go work my way up. So we're gonna wet the bottom a little bit more. And we're gonna work our way all the way up. Okay, so this side is completely wet now. So what I do now is that I take this product called Wash Daylight, Wash Day Delight. And so what it is, basically it's a jelly to cream conditioner. So this, this one is rose water and glycerin. So as you can tell, I use this a lot. And what I do is that I rub it with both my hands and then I just like go up. So that it blends into my hair and then I brush it out. Next off, I take my favorite curling product and it's called Pillow Soft Curls. I use this a lot. It's kind of expensive for a product, but since it's such a small bottle, I use a little bit because I don't want to you know, waste the whole thing. So I rub that in and then I like go through it with my hair. And this stuff like works. It makes your hair like super curly. So we're gonna brush this in. And it's so easy to brush through your hair. Cause as a kid, I used to be really, really tender headed. But since now I have like really good products, this makes it really easy to brush through. Third step to my curling hair product, I use the As I Am hairspray. It's a restore and repair, and it's Jamaican black castor oil and water. So we just like go like this. I swear my hands get so slippery when I put all this product, but it works. My fourth step to my curly hair routine is I use the Auntie, oh, sorry, not Auntie, Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils. This is the product. This is a really good hair product too. So I just take a, like a few pumps of this and then I've, again, I work through my hair. And it smells really good too. It smells like peaches. So, I brush this through my hair. And I add a little bit of water to it so it's not too much product. And then I just do this. Then you're going to take this out again, just a little bit. And what I do here is that I scrunch my hair up like this. And what I do is that I finger coil my hair so it's really like curly. Let's take them back to the club. At least about an hour I stand on line. I just wanted to dance. I want to take up an hour after I... So this is done. I'm done uh, coiling my hair. And what I do is just like scrunch it up a little bit. You could tell by my ends I cut my hair a little bit. So I cut my hair all the way up to my shoulders. But I guess it grew again. I don't know. But... Now we're gonna go work up to the front. Let's take them back to the club. At least about an hour I stand on line. I just wanted to dance. I went to take up an hour after I got my advance. I just wanted to shine. J favorite line, dog and do time. I'm gonna do this in time slap. I'm gonna do the whole front and I should be done by the time the time lapse is over. Doing my hair usually takes me about Two hours just because how long the process is like curly trying to do curly hair is not for the week I'll have to like wake up at 6 in the morning or 5 in the morning just to go do my hair because 
dealing with curly hair is just so hard like even trying to like like wash days are so bad because like you have to wash it you have to shampoo conditioner and then you have to like le put leave-in conditioner and then trying to do your hair after it's just so much work and stress i'll usually do my hair on sundays because that's like the day where i reset myself and i wash my hair because my wash days my wash days are on um sundays and wednesdays because i can't wash my hair every day because that's not good for your hair and i guess it like helps your curly hair more because washing your hair every day is not for the week i really want to start a get ready with me story time on tiktok but i feel like that'd be kind of weird but like I feel like I wouldn't have enough time to do story times because my schedule is always busy. But you sh let me know if, like, right, go in the comments and let me know if I should start doing a story time get ready with me. But the thing is, should I start doing it on my own TikTok account or should I make a backup account and say Ileana's get ready with me's? Because I, I really want to do it. Like, I've been thinking about it all week. But I just don't know. So, leave me a comment if I should or not. So, I finished this side finally. So, I can take up this. So, this is how the other side looks. And what I do, again, take more of this. Squeeze a little bit. And then I just do this. And that's this side. So now I have to go do this side. So I'm actually not going to go film doing this side because I feel like it'll, it'll go by faster. But we already know how the tutorial on this side. So I'm going to go watch a movie and do this side. So I'll be back. So I finished my hair. Now what I do, bring this back out again. I'm gonna take a little bit of it. And what I do here, put this in, and then, then I scrunch my hair. Cause I wanna get all of it. So I wanna get the product really good up in there. And then what I do next is that I blow dry it. And what makes it really good is that I take a towel to scrunch it, scrunch it because that's how it gets really curly. I usually do a towel, not my hands, just because it's better. yeah that's basically it i air dry it a lot but i don't want to blow dry it right now just because it's like really loud but this is my hair tutorial i take it back i'm gonna go blow dry my hair and yeah i gotta testify come up in the spot looking extra fly for the day i die i'm gonna touch the sky Gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky Back when they thought pink polos I hurt the ride Before Cam got the shit to pop, the doors is closed I felt like bad boy street team, I couldn't work the locks Now let's go So that's my hair tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will definitely be coming up with more videos this week um this is not how it is completely dry but since i just blow dried it this is how it is right now but it's gonna get way poofier in like probably two hours but thank you guys for watching and stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and yeah that's it <laughs>